Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to be looking at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Justice League Endless Winter Aquaman. This is essentially a modern, normal looking Aquaman for the Rebirth comics, and that is absolutely fantastic. Another member to round out the Rebirth Justice League. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging. As you can see at the top, 22 moon parts, McFarlane toys, ages 12 plus. DC Multiverse Aquaman. Here he is in the package. He comes with his trident, a display stand, and a collector's card. One side of the package, Aquaman from Justice League Endless Winter. Other side, Aquaman. At the bottom, got a bunch of credits, and there is a barcode, in case that helps anybody. And on the back side, here's Aquaman posed up. And here are a bunch of other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures you should check out. I pre-ordered my figure from Amazon.com. It ended up getting delayed and then pushed up, and here it is today. So no further ado, let's open him up. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, and then Aquaman's trident. But before we take a look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Aquaman from Justice League Endless Winter. It's essentially a regular looking modern Aquaman for the Rebirth comics, and for that, I give McFarlane two thumbs up. This is Arthur Curry. So let's take a look. Start with his face here. Looks pretty good. He does have that side eye thing going on. They're kind of going to the top right. Kind of looking up that way. His hair is long. Parted. Sort of in the middle. One eyebrow risen a little bit. Beard looks pretty good. Hair flowing down to the sides. His torso here is filled with all those sort of scales. Texturing is very nicely done. As we go lower, he's got that Aquaman logo on his belt. Green pants. Double jointed elbows. Double jointed knees. Little sort of fin back there. Good looking figure. Regular, normal Aquaman. None of this crazy Aquaman Batman hybrid stuff or Dark Knight's Metal. Happy to add him to my Rebirth Justice League roster. And just a closer look at his face and head sculpt. It actually looks really good with the exception of the side eyes, which are just looking out in the middle of nowhere. Now, when I mentioned before, it's a regular Aquaman, none of this Dark Knight's Metal stuff. That stuff is cool, but I really wish McFarlane had covered the basics first being all the regular Justice League and Batman type characters. Now let's take a look at his accessories and let's start off with the boring stuff. Here's his display stand. Typical McFarlane stand. Black perfect circle. It says the DC on the bottom. It's got one peg for the pegles on his feet. Very thin. Very basic. Now let's take a look at his collector's card. As you can see, it's an image of the Aquaman figure holding his trident. He's in the ocean with a couple of sharks swimming around him. Aquaman from Justice League Endless Winter. On the back side, there is a description. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause now. Now we have his trident. This thing is in solid gold color. It's got the three prongs on one end. As we go further down, you can see where he's supposed to hold in the middle. And then a little bit of sculpting detail at the bottom there. Here's Aquaman holding his trident. He can hold it with either one hand or with two. He can also hold his trident like he's about to throw it at somebody. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, he's standing at about 7.0 inches tall, which can translate to about 18 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course it can rotate from side to side. His hair soft enough to completely go over his shoulders. You can look up. About that far, down about that far, not too much. You can tilt his head from one side to the other, give him a good amount of personality. Shoulders on a ball joint, goes out way more than 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. He's got that butterfly joint, and I mean, visually, it's kind of noticeable. It does give you a ton of extra range of motion in his shoulder there. Bicep cut below that, double jointed elbows that go all the way in. His wrist has a ball in it, it can rotate, and it's going to be hinged as well. 
ball joint is torso, rotate around, go forward and back. Not too much range of motion here. He's got another one on his waist. Rotate around, go forward and back. Giving him a pretty good range of motion. If you move him around, you can expose this gap sometimes. And it can look kind of bad depending on how you angle it. Legs completely does the splits. Not a ball joint, but a similar type concept. Rotation is pretty much non existent. Legs go forward about that far. Back about that much. Double jointed knees. Then his ankle has a ball in it. Forward and back. Can rotate, can tilt, rock. And he has toe articulation. Here's Aquaman in the water holding his trident. And here he is swimming through the water. Here's Aquaman locked into combat with Black Manta. And you never know what you're going to find in the ocean. Here's Aquaman fighting King Shark. While King Shark simply says, Friend! Aquaman approaches Starlight from the boys. He tells her, Hey, a friend of mine named The Deep said, If you want to join the Justice League, she immediately goes berserker and starts choking Aquaman. Now let's check him out. Next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other McFarlane DC multiverse figures. Here's Aquaman with the rest of the Justice League Endless Winter figures. As far as I know, this is everything they're going to make from that story. Here's this comic Aquaman. This is the only other Aquaman that McFarlane has made. This one is the Jason Momoa Aquaman from Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now let's check him out. Next to some other Rebirth Justice League members. Here he is, next to the Rebirth Batman and Superman. Here's the entire lineup of DC Rebirth Justice League members. Jon Stewart, Martian Manhunter, Batman, Aquaman, Superman, The Flash, and Hal Jordan. I would say the main heavy hitters we're missing would be a Rebirth Wonder Woman, Shazam, and Cyborg. Add in the 1984 Wonder Woman, because she's the closest thing we have to a standard regular Wonder Woman. Now let's check him out, next to some other recently released McFarland DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to a couple of Lex Luthor figures. Then, next to Superboy Prime and the Birds of Prey Harley Quinn. And here he is, next to a couple of Lobo figures. Then, next to the Speed Force Flash from Zack Snyder's Justice League and the Reverse Flash from DC's Rebirth Comics. And here, with the Future State Batman and Dark Detective. And now, next to a couple of DC Rebirth General Zod figures. Then, next to Batman Beyond's Unmasked Batwoman and the Atomic Edition of Blight. Here he is, next to the Rebirth Batman and Infinite Frontier Robin. Then, with the Lois and Clark Superman and the Rebirth Martian Manhunter. And here's Aquaman, next to the Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Superman vs. Armored Batman 2-pack. Then, next to the Mortal Kombat 11 Joker. And now, next to the Batman 3 Joker's Wave. And here he is, next to McFarlane's The Batman Collection. Then, next to the Batman The Dark Knight Returns, collect to build a horse wave. Here's Aquaman, next to the Titan Joker and Clayface Mega Figures. And finally, next to the Death of the Family Joker. Now let's check him out, next to some other Aquaman figures. Here he is, with the only other McFarlane Aquaman they've made. Then, next to a Noble Toys, Bendy figure Aquaman. And here he is, with my DC Direct and DC Collectibles Aquaman figures. Then, next to my Mattel Aquaman figures. And here's my entire collection of 6 and 7 inch Aquaman figures. Now let's check them out. Next is my action figures from different various companies. To see how it fits in, both scale and style wise. In case you want to know which lines you can mix them with. Since he's a McFarland figure, they're typically the 7 inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect. And work my smaller. Here he is with some of his McFarland Toys brothers. In front of you are 5 different action figure lines. All from McFarland Toys. All 7 inch scale. Then, with some more McFarland toys. These are from different various video game properties. And now, with some Jack specific wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here, with some NECA figures. Then, with some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, next to some Jazzwares, AEW wrestlers. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112 collective figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here, 
with some Mafex figures, then with some Hasbro Marvel Legends, and here he is next to some SH figure arts action figures, and finally here he is next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. Overall, it's a pretty nice Aquaman figure. Sculpt and paint job are great, no issues there. Accessories, he comes with Trident. It's good enough for Aquaman. He has a side eyes, which is definitely annoying, but it's not a deal breaker. His articulation is pretty much everything you'd expect from a McFarlane DC Multiverse figure, except he could definitely use some more thigh rotation. If I were to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give him a 7 out of 10. I would definitely give him a 7.5 if it wasn't for the side eyes. It just makes it hard to have this guy looking at another figure without putting him in an awkward angle. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.